how are you? Good, how can I help you this morning? I'm here to check Celie, and I think she has an abscess in her jaw. Okay, which one is she? She's this old girl here. Yeah, she's my old baby. And it's on, I'd be her right side. I'm gonna take a peek at that. Who's this? This is my new service pup, Niwa. They're beautiful. Let's come on back to the room. Come on, old lady. Come on, guys. We got her about six weeks because she couldn't feed. The litter was kind of kicking her out. She was just this cute runt, and she had these bat ears. She's my first love. She's the one my first girlfriend was jealous of. I just couldn't get up and down without her. Some days it's so hard to get out of bed or so hard to get out of a chair. I couldn't wake up without my girl. Hi. How are you, brother? I'm doing all right. How about nice you? Nice to meet you. My pleasure. So is this one in training? Yes, she is my uh, physical ailments dog. I have super bad knees. The Marine yeah. Corps left me with some horrible knees. Yeah, rugby left me with horrible knees. This is the girl here. And this she's the old, old one? Girl. She seems to have an abscess in her jaw. Come here, babe. They came up, I'd say, within a day. That's why we really thought it was like yeah. a, a wasp thing at first. Yeah. And then it, it got more firm. And the other day, it grew significantly the side of her face. Is she a big stick chewer or anything? Oh, actually, nothing that I would think would get lodged. She's very yeah. picky about what she eats. It's under the skin, not on the skin or in the skin. We don't think it's a tooth or nothing, right? I don't think so, not there. It's so yeah. far back, right? Yeah, it's too far back, yeah. Given where it is and given how hard it is, maybe it's a mucosil. And what's that? Just a filled up like gland or something? Or? Yeah, it's they you know they rupture uh, usually one of the one of the ducts and they leak out saliva. You get this big, huge, hard mass on there. But you know, given her age, you get a lump that grows rapidly that hard. You got to put cancer pretty high up on the list. I got a bad feeling. I mean, but my feeling is that we should do some blood work, get some X-rays, chest X-rays. If that's all good, then we'll roll into the surgery at that point. But in the end, we're going to go in there and, and take it out. I'll get a check up here. We'll get her back. Right. I do appreciate your service. Thank you very much. Thank you, and brother. I appreciate we'll take care of her. OK, guys. Come here, my love. No, we're going to get you fixed up. I promise. I promise, old girl. Hello. All right, I'll take Celie to the back, and we'll be giving you a call after blood work and everything. Come on. It's definitely not what I was hoping. Still kind of hoping it'd be a sting or an infection. She doesn't give up one bit. She'll want to get home, so she'll be fighting to get home. Come on, baby. Seely. Ma'am. Ma oh, hello. Can we go? Can we do some stuff? Be careful, my darling. I got you. There we go. Seely's an older shepherd, so we have two possibilities. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for salivary mucosil. You know, given that it's an older dog, you, you got to put cancer on the list. And we're not going to know until we get some x-rays. Because if this does turn out to be cancer, sometimes they've already spread to the lungs. And then it may not make a whole lot of sense to put Celia through a tough operation. I hope for her and her owner's sake that the lungs are clear and this is something we can fix. Doesn't seem to be any obvious sign of cancer. Miss Seely, everything's OK. She's looking around like, I don't know about this place, guys. The mass on the side of Seely's face, it's really hard right now. And I assume at some point it's going to cause a problem with just opening the mouth. I really hope this is a benign mass library mucosil. Basically, you have multiple salivary glands. If one of the ducts gets clogged or torn, then the saliva is still being produced. It backs up under the skin and creates this big mass. I don't have a lot of choices here, so at this point, we're going to go ahead with surgery. Is this the one that just came in? Is it a mucus seal? Could be. I hope it is. That's the jawline. Moment of truth. I'm right up on the jawbone. Man, that's it's underneath the muscle belly here. Ah. I can feel little pieces of bone in this. Nothing good. It's a big tumor. I'm not in a good spot. This is all cancer here. The jaw back here, the pieces of the jaw are really sharp, so the bone's been eaten into. 
This is incredibly invasive. It's amazing to me that this dog hasn't shown more signs or symptoms. I don't want to know if I want to dig a whole lot more. It's probably been in there quite a while. I wanted to be able to keep on eating. I got most of the tumor out of there, but yeah, I couldn't get it all without taking part of the jaw. We want to make her happy, as comfortable as possible. I think the attachment to the owner means something. I really do believe that. Um, and I think, you know, the owner's attachment to the dog means something. So, um, I don't know, time will tell. Hello? Yeah, Alex, this is Dr. Young calling about Sealy. Yeah, how are you? Pretty good. Um, done with the surgery. This is just nothing good. I do think this is some type of cancer. Everything in my, you know, my fiber. So I am truly sorry. I mean, you, you, for a shepherd her size, you've done something right because she's almost 16 years old. So, and I don't know if we're going to buy her weeks or months. As long as she's eating and happy, you just keep going forward with it. I like to keep her overnight just for some pain control and send her home first thing tomorrow morning if that works for you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Alex. Bye. All right. Bye. Chunky butt. What's up, my love? I know. How are you feeling? I know. Look at your battle wound. <laughs> She's got a battle wound just like me now. I got bit by a small dog when I was younger, so now we both got these little scars. Oh, baby. Oh, I couldn't live without my girl. Hi. You got some craftsman work shit there, man. That's beautiful. Let me give you a hug, man. Uh, Thank you so much. No problem, bro. No problem. I think the swelling's gonna go down. We got some pain meds, some anti-inflammatory, some antibiotics, but it's a bad cancer. It really is. It's nothing good. It'll probably yeah. come back. It's gonna come back. I couldn't get it off. Now we can talk about, you know, chemo and, and radiation therapy. I just wanted to keep her comfortable. I and mean, being almost 16, yeah. Yeah, I just no, want I to keep her comfort for yeah. the rest, you know. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. I really yep. appreciate you, man. See you, Lee. I'm gonna save you, you yeah. yeah. You're not too happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he cut my mouth open. <laughs> Take care. Oh, man. You were just the same old you, dude. A lot of people would freak out about cancer news, but man, she has lived almost 16 great years. Like, what can you do about that? Can I be mad about those 16 good years? No. All we can do is make sure she's happy and like, oh my god, I gotta take you home. <laughs> I can't live without her, man. There's my girl.